All right, fantastic. Here we go. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Conservative Episode 500, 500, what? 216. <laughs> My name is Peter Feliciano. Welcome to the show. Wherever you're subscribing, make sure you subscribe. Or wherever you're listening, make sure you subscribe. I need some more coffee. Um, make sure you rate, review, leave a uh, nasty comment. Follow, follow me on Instagram at Peter underscore Feliciano. On TikTok <laughs> at uh, Peter underscore Feliciano. And on Twitter at Rule 62 Peter. Ladies and gentlemen and sirs, the wonderful Maggie is returning back. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Rachel, for coming. And then we also have the wonderful Jean of the comic strip. Yay! Yay. Um, and, uh, yeah, so first things first, where can people find you, my dear? Uh, well, I'm, I'm mostly active on uh, social media. Mm. And then um, they can go to many Republican clubs uh, in New York City, and they can find me physically there. Right. <laughs> but... Um, I'm. Uh, I have a political name, as you said, Maggie. It's Maga and gay and gay. So it's Maga and Y underscore forty five. Uh, that's on Instagram, and then you can find me also on Getter. I'm not on TikTok. There is an account, but I'm not active. Uh, and then wherever you are, I guess you can try to find me. You may find me, but I'm mostly active on Instagram. That's it. Fantastic. And Jean, my dear, um, where can people find you? What would you like to promote before we get into our uh, combo? Here. Here, Comic Strip Live. Yeah, you can find me here and at OR every now and again. OR? I'm a nurse. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I did not know that. Awesome. Mm -hmm. um, so first things first, we wanted to have a conversation with you. I, You were very gracious to have me and Maggie here, uh, especially Maggie. She's been here like 48 times. <laughs> um, but uh, as soon as I realized, and she invited me, as soon as I realized you were not... Uh, complying with the mandates and passports. I was like, okay, I want to give this place money. Yeah, we never did. Uh, yeah. Um, and how how long have you been uh, a co-owner here? Um, I don't know, long. Long time. Okay. I saw a waitress in here in the 80s. Oh, really? Mm. Yeah. Nice. I've been around a long time. Did that imbue you with a lot of love for the place? Did you already like comedy when you started? Um, No. <laughs> <laughs> I never went to a comedy club before I worked here. I was working another job, okay. and the girl there had a side gig here waitressing. So she was like, hey, we need a waitress on Sundays. So I'm like, oh, okay. Okay. Did you start like a comedy when you... No. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Do you, Do like, you comedy like comedy now? That's what I'm saying, yeah. <laughs> I like funny. I like good comedy. You like good... Right. That's a hard... Like that. That's a very important distinction. Um, when did you become part owner here? Um... So I was waitressing here, and then in 87, the owner came in from L.A. He used to, marry, he used to uh, manage Eddie Murphy. Mm -hmm. So he was never here. I worked here for years before I even met him. And I wound up, we wound up getting married. Oh, yeah. very nice. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And he's, I mean, he literally built this room out. It's a beautiful room. As soon as I walked in, I was like, "Yeah, that's a comic. That's a, that's a, that's a comedy club. Yeah, I they like put it. their own hard labor into that back room. Sorry, that room. Oh, they okay. literally shoveled that out themselves. Right, that's yeah. amazing. You, yeah. your your uh, former husband. Well, he passed away in last right. February, okay. not of COVID. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you so you you were you were owning you, you're you're invested in this place. You're not invested time, you know, as well as you know your A spirit, lot of time. your your lot, your labor. All yeah, that my stuff. kids were raised here. Right. I have videos of them on stage goofing around as right. little kids and. Right. You know. So, when when well. Let's see, where do we want to go first? I'll tell you, I'll, this is the interesting, or not the interesting, the whole in thing is interesting to me, but the interesting part for me is where along the line we decide to put our principles in our pocket and not implement them. You know what I'm saying? So, like, a lot of people around, a lot of business owners, a lot of, I know I did, you know, I was like, oh, yeah, we're all going to die. I better put this thing on my face. Right. You know, oh, I, you know, I never, I was I working never in was, a nursing home when this COVID shit first started. You Nobody knows a, better than me how bad it was. Okay, so <clears throat> when it when it first started, was there personally and maybe as a group, was there fear with you and your colleagues? Was there like, oh my God, we're all going to die? Was there, what was it like? It was, uh, it was bad. It was like, you know, you wore what you had to wear, the shield, whatever, and you took care of these people, and uh, but you couldn't take care of them. You know, nurses were getting sick. Doctors weren't even coming in. So we would just, oh. <clears throat> I would have, you know, 100 patients in one overnight. So I could barely Jesus. get vitals and meds done on them. 
right. and I had to wipe the machine down between every patient. Right. But the worst part was they weren't getting care. What do you mean they weren't getting care? I mean, this was something that was affecting their lungs and they were laying on their backs, which is a no-no. Okay. Oh. You know, and then when you do a little research about the virus and you find out how it works, it seems like at least give them an aspirin and keep their blood thin. Mm. Mm. That wasn't even happening. Why do you think that wasn't ha- Was it just because of all the doctors leaving and all the fear and all the kind of I saw overwhelm? Th- when I first started researching COVID, one of, the first things, one of the first things I saw was the statement by the CDC that where they said uh, with a few million dollars in government grants, they can get to the bottom of this. And I thought, that's funny. Don't you fucking get paid for that? <laughs> and if you were doing your job, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Right. And that's that's kind of what I knew. This was going down. A, this was going down. A, this had nothing to do with healthcare. Okay. And as a nurse, and someone who goes into nursing because you want to help people, right. mm-hmm. you realize no one's letting me help, and that's not why I got into nursing. Okay. It's a wake up call. Like. It was bad. It was bad. Like the doctors weren't even coming in. They didn't care. It was like, and you just watch people every day. And you you know when you work in a nursing home, you're like you get to know these people. You love that. Like right. You know, they get to be your friends. Like, they have great right. stories, and they're just fun. And every day, three more people dead. Three more, it was just like. And the one thing I noticed was the ones that lived were all already taking 81 milligrams of aspirin for their heart. Mm. Okay. All right. How soon did you realize that? Cause you I was watching for it. Right. Because when I read how the disease worked with the, with the um, cytokine storm and all that stuff, I was like, it seems to me if you kept their blood thin, they might be okay. Interesting. So I started watching for it. Okay. Wow. And by the time people had already been, uh, you know, two or three days in to infection, it was too late for to pump them full of acetaminophen or anything I don't know. like that. Well, acetaminophen is not going to thin your blood. Okay. Um, I don't know that it would have been too late. But okay. certainly they shouldn't have been laying on the backs. Right. right. You know, they should have been sitting up and getting breathing treatments and nobody did anything. It was like, almost like they did it on purpose. It was, oh, I'd like to piece apart that because I have, I mean, it's easy for me personally to be like, all right, it's a, a cabal of rich and powerful, you know, but I also look at the, 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 the micro as well of individuals who do care, especially people like you who work in that, who do care about their patients, who do want the best for them, but maybe there was a disconnect there because they're looking at the higher ups going, what do we do? And they're mum or they're gone or their whatever. What? We had so many patients you couldn't at that point. I, okay. You know, people were getting sick and everybody was scared and, you know, I mean, who wasn't scared? Right. You know, right. I never took my gloves off. Right. I took, you know, I gowned up, had it up, everything, and I took it all off and then got in my car and then threw my clothes in the washing machine before right. I went right. upstairs. You know, the whole routine, everybody did. I used to wipe down my groceries. I yeah, did that all like that. once. Okay. <laughs> Oh. I was obsessive with compulsive in the in the jump in the beginning. Yeah, yeah because that they were pretending they didn't know anything. Of course, they they knew. Do you think that okay? So they, the the CDCs, the WHOs, the the people like once that, I what, started researching people and I saw everybody's related to everybody in the government, right. you kind of go, wait a minute, there's something just not right here. Mm-hmm. Right. You know. Right. So similar to a few days ago, the Moderna CEO. Uh, jumped off of Twitter and dumped what was it 400 400 million in stocks that's very interesting that's just right. it's, it's the, a little the, too coincidental and then the deleting all the Twitter account uh, to cover up whatever right. you know con- contradict whatever he was uh, about to do in a way right. uh, uh, but ev- yeah with everything that started to come out like they will admit to to all of that like oh yeah we should have used aspirin or they will they I will mean, it's they're crazy. starting to say like we were wrong but they're not saying that they were wrong Right. So like there's a new science, there's new data. Right, um, new science, new but data. But I, 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 it's new perspective. I, I never heard that that uh, that insight in regards to like laying on the back. But I did hear, for example, on the ventilators. That well, look, once somebody's on a ventilator with that, there's no hope. Yeah. Why do you no think hope. once that was like murdering them basically? It mm. didn't matter. Like once you, it's like pumping air in a jelly jar, because now that's how their lung is. Right. How right. far are you gonna get with that? Right. The ventilator is going to kill you before it's going to help you. That's right. why with Cuomo, when Trump was like, "Oh, here's all the ventilators you need," they well, we don't, yeah, we don't need those. Yeah. They found them in that some. That ship uh, stayed some, empty. It's exactly. Like, same in containers in New the Jersey. Ship, the ship did stay empty. Is that that ship stayed empty. The ship stayed empty. Yeah. The, the field hospitals were empty. He yeah. was not you know, Trump gave him ventilators. He gave him hospitals beds. Cuomo and De Blasio didn't use any of this. Right. 
No, they but, were, but they, everyone about, in the government got their mothers out of nursing homes. What about homes? sending back the, the <laughs> what about sending back the COVID uh, positive patients, elderly who were released from the hospital, mm. back to the nursing homes while they're right. still positive and right. infectious? They put them in the same nursing home. They're like, in some places, they didn't even change the floors. Or like, really? At least they had some separate rooms. But you realize, oh please, at I that have time, pictures on my phone. We had, um, okay, so they would try to like make believe they were trying to isolate, and and they were all ripped up, and it was. We were wearing tablecloths in there, which right. is fine. I don't care. Like whatever. Right. That didn't bother me. Right. Um, right. But somebody sewed some tablecloths, which, which, like I said, as long as it wasn't on my clothes when I got in my car, I was cool. Right. Um, but we did the shield, the mask. I wore. I never. I didn't even touch my keyboard with my hands, though. Like right. I, you know, everybody that did, they got COVID. Wow. I didn't get COVID till <clears throat> last February. Okay. So how many months in? Obviously, you're doing this work. You're seeing the front line. You're also connected here. This got shut down. Mm-hmm. How soon and how long did this? Did this the got strip? shut down right before St. Patrick's Day. Okay, yeah, March 16th. That's yeah, what I remember. Because we bought a bunch of booze. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so during it didn't go COVID, to waste, I, hope. No, this... I put it, a sign outside so that I healthcare thought... workers got a free six-pack. Six pack, so they would stop right. in and get a six-pack. Sweet. Yeah. Okay, uh, so you're doing that. You're seeing, you know, you've, you've got people here. Did you lose a lot of employees in the process? Yeah. Okay. Right. Um, how long until it reopened? Uh, I think last March. Okay, so it was about a well, this, year. About a year. This, yeah, last March, yeah. Okay, so it was about a year. Yeah. Okay. Um, wow. Yeah, I, I lost, uh, I literally signed my lease uh, at my old place in Hell's Kitchen. I signed my lease, and the day afterwards, my job got shut down, and I was like, okay, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do now. Um, right. And I was put, and I was working uh, at, at a restaurant in the village, um, and the same thing of like, we don't know what we're going to do. We might see you. If you want to maybe come in for like, we'll be serving soup to people outside with masks, like, you know, in, yeah. in, in you know, frigid weather. I'm like, oh, yeah, I don't, I don't know, you know. Um, it yeah, was a scary yeah. time. It was a weird, yeah, like, scary time. Yeah, like as long time. as I could, lost, I would have yeah. them come in. Because you didn't know you were going to be shut down as long as we were. Right. So I would have them come in and help clean up. I'm like, all right, let's just clean and, so that they could make some money. Yeah. Right. And so we would do that for a while, but then it, it seemed like we were never going to open, so why even bother? Yeah. Now, you played you ball, th- Where you thought you're never going to open? Is it? You mm-hmm. were thinking no, that no, 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 you, you just don't know when right. you're going to open. We thought it was two weeks. Yeah. yeah. That's, a, that's the line that they crossed. You know, people saying, when, when, when are they going to cross the line for you? What is it? It's going to be the third booster, the fourth booster? And I right. will say, no, it's the two weeks to show the spread. That's when they crossed the line. When they shut us down, when they shut these businesses down, well, they got everyone scared because of that. That's right. that's what they gain, and everyone because they're scared to comply. Uh, and once you're learning that you don't need to be scared of this virus, then you stop complying. Right. It's like usually goes together. Um, I think I think it's a step it, further. But nobody should feel bad for like being scared and doing all this thing of because not. then, but then we were open to social media where we could actually find factual. Right. Uh, you had the doctors and the scientists who came forward, and then they were silenced by uh, big tech. Right. Um, there were people saying, look, there's a drug that has been out there for many years it's for malaria. Right. It's right. safe, and right. it's working. Let's use it. Right. What did big tech did and mainstream media? Silence it. Yeah, because right. it's Attack cheap. Attack Trump for, because it's cheap, doesn't make, give you the money. Big and doesn't it's, make money. And it's stopping their pandemic. Yeah. Right. So this is when you're waking up, people. And then by being vocal and... See, the, but that's why it's really that's, important to be vocal because I thought, because I'm doing my own like stupid little research. I'm not the smartest person in the world. Hmm. But You're on the right show. Then I, see, <laughs> then I see these other nurses going on social media right. and see saying what I saw. Uh, right. So then I'm like, all right, I'm not crazy. I'm yes. there. They're exactly. seeing the same thing. Right. They're getting the same vibe I'm getting. So right. then I started doing these, these, these other, this other research stuff and I found this one article where they went after Obama and by not went after, but they invited them in to the CDC and tried to pretty much the people there, the scientists were like begging them, you got to put restrictions because you can duplicate these viruses very cheaply. Any microbiologist can do it in five minutes. You could buy everything online and you can recreate viruses. And they were like asking them, you need to like do something. <clears throat> so this was a, an article from uh, 2010. So then I looked up, like I go into a black hole. I looked up all the 
contributors to the article. Right. One is now like considered, I can't tell you the names, I don't remember, is now considered a conspiracy theorist because he was all about, you know, this is manufactured, this is intentional, right. yada, yada, yada. Another one got busted with Epstein. Interesting. And another one works for uh, the Rockefeller Foundation. Mm-hmm. So two out of three of them right. bought into whatever right. that right. administration enticed them with, and the one didn't. Right. So he's bad. He's a conspiracy theorist. Right. I figure it's the same type of thing. So, uh, I mean, part of the reason I moved to New York from the Bay was New York comedy. Um, and we'll get into it a little bit more. But, uh, you know, the late, great, my favorite, uh, Patrice O'Neill. And I know he's a lot of people's favorite and a lot of people suck. But Patrice was actually f- phenomenal. Um, and what he talked about golden handcuffs. That the golden handcuffs is, okay, we're going to give you a house. We're going to give you a job. We're going to give right. you money. We're going to give you this. We're going to give you that. And all of a sudden, at a certain point, we're going to come and we're going <laughs> to knock on your door like Godfather and be like, you owe. Mm-hmm. If you want to keep all this stuff, you owe. You must submit publicly. You must now be a, a poster boy. You must do whatever because you owe. And that's, you know, along with that. Isn't that how Satan works? Right, exactly. There's there's nothing free in life. Right. Um, Okay, so so you're playing along. You're doing all that stuff. I mean, at least publicly, maybe. Was there a line where, I mean, obviously all that stuff. um, (laughs) Yeah. yeah, I know. There's people behind it. (laughs) Um, Obviously, there was a line. But. Do you remember where you were like, okay, I, I'm I'm done? Because you said something very interesting. You said f- when the fear of the disease goes away, you start speaking up, and that is you one st- thing. You but stop I complying. think it, you stop complying. But yeah. but the fear morphs into the fear of the motherfuckers in power. The fear yeah. turns into you know, like you said, the science has changed, except for in Ottawa, apparently. Um, the right. fear becomes because Trudeau and, loves and, fear, and still here in New York City, like yeah, exactly. This is lifting the vax mandate. New York City, where you at? What's what, right. why, why in DC there's different science that's saying it's safe to uh, leave the vaccine mandated, but not here. In Inglewood, people here needs to still still comply. Right in SoFi Stadium, you don't have to wear a mask, even yeah. though it says on the website LA County you do. Um, right. But in the in the and school the, across the, the school, street, you, have you to do. Wear them. Yeah. So science. I think it morphs. So where was it for you where you were publicly just like fuck you? I'm not doing it anymore. Like right. you know. Where was it? Obviously, it was a month ago or a month and a half ago, and we'll get into that story. But where do you feel like it was, okay, I'm going to start speaking up. I'm tired of it. Well, you know, <clears throat> as far as comedy comes or the or the, uh, the virus? Well, let's do virus. I was in, I was asking about comedy club, but yeah, yeah, let's do okay, that. Okay, so in the nursing home, they, they at, some, at some point, they wanted to do the PCR testing every week, which makes no sense to me because... It would you couldn't back at that time you could the results weren't coming back the same day they were like a week okay so it made no sense to yeah. me I'm like you want me to test but I could be sharing this for a week like this makes right. no sense right uh, but I'll do it because I want to take care of these people that are left right um and, but so they wanted me to sign a paper and I read it mm. and they wanted me to sign over my HIPAA rights mm. I still I have a copy of it on my phone and I was like I'm not signing this like I don't mind taking the test but I'm not signing this paper. Hmm. Well, everybody's signing it. I'm like, that's fine. Probably no one read it. I read it. I'm not signing it. Right. Well, then you, but you have to. And then everybody, like, I'm like, then I'm not coming back. Right. Uh, I went home, like, supervisors were calling. That I'm like, dude, I'm not doing it. I'm not signing over. My, yeah, but you're only doing it. It, it, it. There was no end to it. Like, you saw the way mm-hmm. it was written. Mm-hmm. I was signing over my HIPAA rights, and they were sort of trying to make it sound like only for this and for research. But it was not rights. clear. Yeah. That right. that you know, yeah. I'm not doing that. I'm not right. signing over any of my rights. Right. So I just I quit there, and then uh, here it was. I mean, I just never, you know, when this whole vaccine thing started, I knew I was never gonna. Right. Like, but the people on the phone, they were taught from the very beginning. If anybody calls and asks about vaccine cards, you say we don't segregate at the comic strip. We don't discriminate. Love it. And that was it. That was their answer. Okay. And when the health department comes in, they're told. This is my first day here. I don't know where anything is. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> I love it. What, did they ever ask for the manager? Did they ever ask to talk to you? On oh, yeah. oh, I was here on Sunday, and uh, did, I was doing those tables, yeah. the comic tables. And you told them that's your first day, and you don't know anything? I, yeah, I said, no, they just hired me to do these tables. I don't know where this stuff right. is. You know. right. They it. just hired. I yeah. And they just it's, give up because they're not going to waste their oh, time. Oh, really? Then they came in during our Christmas party. And these guys, they don't want to be doing no. this. No. These health department guys, I said to, no. one, to one of the guys, I go, what do you think about? He's like, I hate my job now. Oh. Wow. And then during the Christmas party, uh, we were like, 
somebody said, no, this is their Christmas party. And they were like, oh, this is a private party? We're out of here. Uh, they don't want to do this. Love it. Right. But the businesses this are so scared. This is why they took that job. And right. then you have businesses who tell you, no, it's the law. It's not a law. How is this a law? And this, and this is how it's enforced. And it's not even enforced. Right. They're so, I mean, they're scared of something. Obviously, right. to behave like that, to be to segregate, as you're telling them in the phone, to segregate. Mm -hmm. They're segregating me. I've been segregated from this city yep. that I love so much. I've been living here for nine years. And for the last two years, I, I was telling you earlier how uh, before COVID, I was I loved going out to clubs and bars. Right. And, right. and that included for me um, right. because of COVID, uh, 2020. And then 21, it was POV. Right. And I'm still uh, we're not, I'm not able to, to to enjoy it. Well, at least I have uh, the comic strip live and Jean over here. Yeah. That, right. they're, they're one of the only people here in the city that's standing up and allowing uh, people to any any type of people can come in here and laugh, right. laugh yeah, really hard. I laughed so hard last yeah. night. <laughs> I had I had that experience but, as well. Yeah. So I, I'm also uh, a pure blood, um, <laughs> and I haven't been able to eat inside uh, in since what September. Um, and it's too cold to, you know, whatever. And I, you know, fine, whatever. I, cause at a certain point for me, I don't want to put my principles in my pocket. I don't fucking want no. to. And if they already, already trained yeah. me how to be alone in my house, like, fine, I'll do that. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm 20, good. 20, right? I'm good, baby. Yeah. I have enough friends. I don't need to go meet more. I'm good. <laughs> um, so my experience was, I was like. You know, I, I'm not, I'm, I mean, in the beginning, when it first started rolling out, I was like, yeah, I guess I'll get it, whatever, I, you know, but I didn't, I already knew it was fishy, I already knew there's hypocrisy, I was bullshit, but at yeah. the same time, I was like, I saw it like going to the DMV, I guess I'll, yeah, whatever, you know, whatever. But then when they started tightening the screws and they were like, we'll give you money. I'm exactly. like, fuck, fuck. you. Yep, yeah. exactly. You think I'm too stupid to 100%. make a decision about yeah. my health and I need a motherfucking donut to make a decision about my health? How stupid do you think I am? In Minnesota, they're giving, uh, the government in Minnesota is giving $200 for parents who are vaccinated the 5 to 11-year-olds. Oh, my God. $200 to... Gift card, yep. Gross I posted as fuck. on my I posted on my page. I took uh, I like to post on uh, on my Instagram like uh, you know because I've always been fact checked. So mm -hmm. now I'm just gonna do a green screen and I'm gonna put the factual information <laughs> behind me. <laughs> We're gonna take the governor's governor uh, the government's page of Minnesota and taking the you know screenshot it. Right. Uh, but yeah, that's what uh, they want to do. And tell me what sick parent think that this is okay there's plenty they're of like them. you know what right i should vaccinate my kid now after all of this now i'll do it for the 200 dollars gift card right the whole and they insane. for them to think that they're we are that stupid right but they but we are some of us are yeah i mean you look at this you want to a lot you of us pay are. me to take <laughs> this so. but now you want to take my job if i don't something's not <laughs> right <laughs> you know this went from you're putting it's me into out. a lottery in California so I can win a million dollars but now if I don't take it you, uh, you're going to take my I'm also a school nurse by the way mm. so thank god New Jersey didn't put that in through that job we were introduced in a way basically through the school nurse yeah because oh so Victoria that's how we met through Victoria mm -hmm, that's mm. right so a follower the, the mega is the connection of how I mm -hmm. found I mean it's so funny I live literally 10 minutes walk from right. here this is my neighborhood right. and uh, a good follow, uh, a friend of mine from Instagram, uh, I guess, um, texted Get me and said, "Here, uh, my friend, okay. uh, my friend owns this place in the Upper East Side, and she's having some, she's getting some backlash and getting some hard time. Maybe we can go support her business." Right. She was like, just giving me an, an option to a place that I can go and have, you know, a good time and drink or something. Mm -hmm. And then she sent me that article, and when I saw the article, I'm like, I need to speak up against this. Like, right. this is wrong. Um, let's let's. Oh, go, yeah, finish your stuff. I'm saying I'm finishing. And then, I mean, that's what made the connection. But Victoria knows. Uh, Jean, Even the way I met her. Because, yeah, that's how you met her. we started talking on the phone. And sometimes you take that little risk. Mm -hmm. And you go, like, you can almost get the, a mm -hmm. vibe about the other person. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. we started, like, shitting on this. Right. And her daughter wasn't vaccinated. And she right. wasn't vaccinated. Right. And then the kids were picking on her because mm. she wasn't vaccinated. The kids but that didn't matter to her. administration. That doesn't matter to them. <laughs> no. You know. 
It doesn't matter. Everybody's fair and everybody's equal and everybody's right. this, right. unless you're not vaccinated. Right. Right. So they, kids are feeling yeah. pressure from this. Of course. Well, Eminem, and Eminem took a knee. Eminem took a knee. At, uh, uh, they, yeah. Regardless of what you feel about, because we could go on for a million years about the only white rants. person on the stage. Well, yeah, but he took a knee, it's right, to support Black Lives Matter, and yet he's performing at a place that segregates 45 percent of Black people in Los Angeles <laughs> County. Only 54 percent of people are of Blacks are fully vaccinated. Wow. So they can't go into bars, nightclubs, uh, 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 distilleries, and elites, breweries. Unless they're uh, football players. Right. Although they can mm. go to a mega event. I was looking it up online last night. Mega event. They can look. They can go to that if they get a PCR test two days beforehand. They right? go to the Oscar, right? Uh, oh, well, yeah, now they did, right. So but, the I mean, Oscar, that's the they're thing. not going to show back, but it's only the, the talents, because all the employees, you know, they have to be vaccinated, exactly. ma double mask. Right. right. So, so you're feeling, you're feeling that, I know, and I like, uh, obviously I support, you know, we like that you're, you're, I like hearing about the stories of them coming or whatever, but where along the line, when they started, when you got that news that they were going to be implementing, did you, uh, the mandate? The mm. passport. Did you already see it down the line? Do you're like, uh oh. A hundred percent, but okay. I, it wasn't going to affect me. Okay. I mean, if you shut me down, whatever you shut me down, what am I going to do? Have you they know, shut you down at all? No. They did can't. they give you any it's fines? Mm. Did they give Did they give you any fines? No. No. So I don't think anybody's gotten a fine. So everyone should. I don't I've heard it in and out. Complain. In and out. Because they like it. They like being controlled. People <laughs> like it. <laughs> I don't. No. That doesn't. Listen. It's so. No. They let do. Me, Sorry, let me it's talk so to you about. Up? Let me talk to you about BDSM. They're not even getting. <laughs> people are like, no, they will be shut down. When I was criticizing Trump, you know the backlash I received for that. There are people supporting Trump telling me how difficult it will be for him you know he has right. so many lawsuits right. and everyone's trying to right. shut him down right, 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 right. they don't even get a fine in Los, in San Francisco I know for sure that one of the in and outs that said fuck you uh, has gotten fined but the thing is is that okay we <laughs> got the fine you. Okay, now you fight the fine, yeah, and then they don't it. show up to the court. Yeah, right. Yeah, so that's the thing, is that all you need to do is call their fucking bluff. That's right. the thing about bullies, and I because talked they about this. Defend that bullies fine. don't defend that fine. 100%. Bullies will push and push and push until they get one punch back. Once they get one punch back, they're Next like, step. all right, maybe I'll go for the new kid. Maybe I'll go for the easy kid, because they don't want right. to get hit. They're, no. they're cowards. So the reality is, is that once you push back once, it's done. Once you do your research once, it's done. Mm -hmm. you, you've already opened the door. They can also not defend their fines. They cannot go to court right. for these fines because right. what they're doing is unconstitutional, right? Mm. They're like hoping that, that shit, okay, Hochul lifted the mask mandates here right. in New York, well, but what she said in the same sentence, but the businesses and the counties, you know, they should uh, decide for themselves. So she's kind of like even telling them, legally right. I cannot do it, so it's up to you to do mm. the right thing. Right, right, right. And they're all doing it. They want, they want, they, I saw today, someone sent me a video, uh, there was where was it, in Arizona, mm. there were protests at, like, some college. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Pro-mandates. Bring, bring the mask no, mandate see, back. They I'm like, it. what? Yeah, because white motherfuckers, like, like, white motherfuckers are the devil. That's what I'm... <laughs> it's always... Only the men. Listen, oh, the white... Yeah, that... <laughs> white liberals, I'm, I'm... I know I talk a lot about white liberals, and I'm not saying it's only white liberals, but it's white liberals, uh, amateur white liberals, and right. then famous or pol political uh, people of color. That's what it is. Anybody, anybody black or Latin, or whatever, with a blue check mark, that's when you smells whatever. But amateurs, yeah. why? How? How could uh, a bunch of people who are who are protesting the mandate in fucking Ottawa? How could they be? Uh, uh, what was it? Because Trudeau was like, oh, white supremacist. I'm like, oh, literally, oh, yes, in that. America, only 61 percent or 39 uh, percent of Black Americans nationwide are fully vaccinated. How in the sweet hot fuck would they be for being segregated from restaurants, right. being fired from their their jobs, having their kids taken out of, come on, man. It's white liberal disconnect. I'm sorry, but that's yeah. what it is. It's uh, especially in affluent areas. Hello, upper fucking we east side, west side, Brooklyn, wherever, wherever there's the disconnect. If they don't know enough motherfucking black people, if they don't know enough Latin people, right. they, they think, well, we know what's best for these people because we follow a, a Black Lives Matter account on Instagram. That's right. get into the meat. Go to fucking <laughs> go to uh, uh, Brownsville for two seconds. You know what I mean? You'll realize a lot of the people are like, I'm not doing that. I'm not I'm not complying. I'm not playing that game. You know, but we had uh, that conversation last time. But I, I see I see a lot of uh, liberal. I mean, I, I know a lot of gay liberals, uh, yeah. white liberals in the city. Yeah. And and I see what they think about the anti vaxxer like they call in the truckers anti vaxxers for example, right, 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 but they're right. not. The majority of them are vax. Most they're of against us the are 90, 90 percent. Most of us aren't even anti vax. Nope. But, but we're not anti vax. We're anti -vax. We're If this was freedom. a vaccine, then maybe you can call I me. want I want people <laughs> to be able to take them. 
sorry. <laughs> I want I want people to be able to That's take great. it if they want to, and I want people to not uh, to be able not to take it if they just don't want to. I also think like the medical and uh, uh, the medical and religious exemptions should not even be in exist. Like, right. I don't need a... Right. My exception is that I don't want it. Right. I don't need a religious reason for it. Right. I'm not religious, you know? Right. But um, they, they're using... A, they, they... How do you call it? Uh, demonizing them. They're, Dehumanization. So the, the white liberals, the way Did I see it... Did you want to take a break? No. The, oh, okay. the way I see it, the white liberals are disconnect is because what they... The information that they have mm-hmm. doesn't include that information right. that is only 39% of uh, uh, black Americans who are not vaccinated. In their mind, it's like the white supremacists, right. the Trump supporters. Right. They were, they're talking about, there was in CNN, I think someone, I uh, was saying how the truckers are basically Trumpism, global Trumpism. Right, 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 right. That's what they think it is. Well, yeah. in a way, there's something about it in regards to the freedom because sure. they're, they're aiming there. But they're looking at it like that. They're calling them, as you said, a racist, right uh, wing, extremist, uh, white supremacist. Right. And that's what those white liberals think that the anti vaxxers or the people who not not just the anti vaxxers it's just the people who not take the vaccine. The not mm-hmm. the, the unvaccinated are those Trump supporters. Right. And in their book, right. uh, there's no black Trump supporter, right? right? There must be a coon, right? right. Or whatever they n- right. how name calling they do it to them. Right. So they they are disconnect because they don't have that information. They all all what they know is what they see in Mr. Media. And you won't right. find that information there. Right. And also That's a disconnect. They've 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 sewn it for six years now. I have invested my self-worth, if I'm a white liberal, my self-worth into being morally superior. Right. So because I wasn't an evil, racist, xenophobic, homophobic, blah, 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 phobic, 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 uh, yeah. Trump supporter, I was morally superior. So whatever right. my side does cannot be questioned because right. like you've we already experienced, you get ostracized, you get out, you get, uh, why won't you just sign the HIPAA thing? Why won't you just give up your yeah. rights? Why Everyone won't you, did you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, but see, if you can use the word white supremacist over and over and over, it loses its value. Right. So when they want to come back and they want to just go after everybody, right. it's not going to mean anything. Because right. now everyone's a white supremacist. Like, white yeah. su- that's a strong word to call somebody. That's reserved for not a very large part of the population. No. But they throw it around like it's like just because you're white. Right. You think you're better. It, like, who thinks that? Right. You know, like, so let's dig into this. Situation. Racism's another word. Uh, Absolutely. They, they just they, they destroyed the value of it. They were right. calling uh, Larry Elder. Uh, the white oh, yeah. The, uh, the, the black yeah. face of white supremacy. Yeah, the black face of white yeah, supremacy. Right. And Candace Owens. If you're not black, don't vote for me. Get the fuck out of here. Right. <laughs> if you don't vote for me, you ain't black. Yeah, right. that's your president. Yeah, in that's fact, the, president. In fact, one of the guys, in fact, one of the guys, Snoop Dogg, he doesn't who want performed his kids at, to who grow performed up at the Super Bowl, he posted the Coon Bunch. Remember that? He posted, yeah, with a bunch of black conservatives on there, and yet he's performing at the Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Right. Yeah, so. because, you know. Absolutely. No one with money is at the Super Bowl, right? <laughs> right. right. <laughs> Unmasked. All right. Speaking of anti-Semitism and white supremacy, um, there was a post uh, in the beginning of January, um, and you posted about, specifically, it was about, uh, it had an American flag on it. Can you talk a little bit about that experience and what happened afterwards? Yeah, so we <clears throat> we hung an American, I took down the comics or flag and hung the American flag just as a subtle message, like, people that wanted to see it would see it right love it and uh and then i it was like sunday morning at like eight o'clock and i'm like ah let me just post this video i took it last night and i post it and then some guy from the upper east side uh blog messaged me and said something about nuremberg code and he gave me some look i wasn't born yesterday right what he said oh Jewish people are getting on me and saying that this is uh, anti-Semitic. Now, I'm not a moron. Right. I know the guy's totally lying. Right. But I'll play your game. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, oh, oh, is it really hurt? If it's hurting Jewish people, I'll take it down. I took Nuremberg down immediately because you know what? I'm not Jewish. I can't. I f- and it was Sunday morning. I had no one to ask. You know, mm. like, who's I going to call and ask? Right, right, right. I did ask Victoria. And Victoria said, no, she didn't find it to be anti-Semitic, but that some Jews did. Right. So I felt like I did the right decision because I don't want to hurt right. anybody. Anybody. Right. I don't care who you are. Right. Um, but in that, I, he was in that whole conversation. At some point, I actually say to him, are you calling me anti-Semitic? Because now I'm like, my Queens is coming out. Right, right, right. And he's like, no, not me. 
and posted it after that. <laughs> mm. So the website, yeah, East East Side Upper, uh, Upper, Upper East, East Side. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I looked at the article, and then some congresswoman mm. sends him a letter, ostracizing us and and, and demanding and an apology. Manning. Uh, Julie Manning. Yeah, de- Julie demanding Manning. an apology from us. Right. Right. He posts it. She sends it to him. He posts it. We never got the letter. Really? Nope. Interesting. So it's just an open letter because Julie Menon wants attention is really what it is. Well, she Look, wanted, everybody. Well, now she's running I'm, around like supporting all small businesses. Like, oh, really? This is such a cover up. This is right. such a cover up. Right. Yeah. And the thing I saw was that there was especially potentially anti Semitic because there was someone in some uh, uh, Yorkville ATM spit out a $100 bill that had a they swastika put, on it. They put that in the thing, too. Yeah, right. Right. So, yeah, okay. They were saying that there was a post that they did before. I, I mean, I, mm-hmm. I looked it up, right? So they were saying how in the same week, that's the that's the story they're trying to focus mm-hmm. on. Now, in mm-hmm. the same week, uh, two incidents in the Upper East Side, anti-Semitic incidents. Right. First one was this uh, ATM. I think it's a Chase ATM that uh, put up. Uh, uh, a, I don't know how, how how much that bill was, but with the swastika mm-hmm. like stamp on it, right. and then a few days later, uh, the Comics Strip Live made an anti-Semitic anti-mandates post. That's how they that's how they that's used, how they framed it. Right? Uh, that's how they framed right. it uh, without giving uh, Jean the opportunity to, no, uh, to explain you know anything. What? But then they were saying how she. I mean, it's like, how is it possible they have the audacity uh, to compare the Holocaust uh, to the COVID nineteen mandates uh, by using? She just used the hashtag Nuremberg. Right. Right. Uh, right. F mandates Nuremberg. Yeah, yeah. Right. I love the F mandates right. in Nuremberg, and I, um, I support that. Uh, yeah. uh, to, to be honest, uh, sorry to jump in, but uh, oh, j- j- just wanted to, to clarify, uh, to um, jump in with uh, in regards to the upper east side and uh, how they how they put it. But I would like I would like to hear more about the uh, the, the fight that's going this on. This girl jumped this. in immediately. I she know. was friggin' on it, right. like like a tiger. Right. She's. Did you see her post? Uh, yeah, I did. <laughs> that's the thing. That's the thing about. I just watch that sometimes because it's just such a great. Oh, right. Thank you. Well, what Julie Men and, and and people like her ilk, what they're relying on is non-Jews feeling guilty. Mm-hmm. So they're like they want to put the pressure on and including whatever right. his face. Which, by the way, the I, writer I believe didn't put Jews... his name on on the Brooklyn si- Upper East Side uh, Upper East Site. There's no. It says Upper East Site staff. That's who the uh, uh, oh, wow. <laughs> author is. So fuck you. Uh, but um, but along with that. What the, Julie Menon and those people, what they're what they're hoping on, we're banking on white guilt to make you go, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I did, you know, and then they can lord it over you. Yes, I am Julie Menon, and I I supp- I'm a hero. She did some th- shit about uh, 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 recently, uh, just a few days ago, Be- and and it was this situation was cited in that article on the I same website it. that said that said yeah. uh, I'm <laughs> Julie Menon is f- is fighting is fighting anti-Semitism mm-hmm. with a fucking hundred dollar bill <laughs> and a bunch of comic did she strip even live shows. <laughs> no. She still hasn't? No. Julie Matt is not. Sp- if okay. anybody would have reached out to me, I would have explained, <laughs> okay, all my grandkids are Jewish. Right. Uh, my partner is Jewish. No, I mean, right. I mean in, what in, they're missing, the, they're the missing the point. Right. Yeah. Like, you don't know anything about me. Right. Mm. You know? Right. But a hashtag now is anti Semitism. That's what a, it's a Because leap. it was comparing. Honestly, but I didn't. We, but nobody's think comparing it, was, it to but the I Holocaust. was certainly not. I can't feel what you're feeling. Right. So until I, it was eight o'clock Sunday morning. Sure. And until I can actually music. ask some of my right. friends that are Jewish, right. I really didn't want to hurt anybody. Right. Like, why would I want to do that? You need text to Jew. Well, That's what you need. Like, it's eight that, o'clock. I got that now. So right. you, got, you got that Victoria, and Victoria contacted me. And then I know. you said you were quick because the moment she sent me that article and I saw it, Dude. I lit up. Yeah. And I it took my phone and I'm like, excuse me? <laughs> and you saw it. I it was, was like, great. I, I was pissed. I, to- I It was like one take. But I was so angry that they called you. And then now they're trying to to shame you and cancel you. For you posting a beautiful, I love that video. And to be honest, when I saw that post, I'm like, I just passed that by that flag yesterday. Mm. And I looked at that flag and I was like, I walked to I walk, I walk to, uh, to shoot an apartment on 80th Street and on the way back I saw that flag and I felt like it's the yep. first time I've seen that flag because otherwise I would have noticed. I love right. seeing the American flag. But that's why I did I it because I wanted with that it. message out. Right. But then that video, uh, that post that you, you put with using the hashtag F mandates in Nuremberg got so much hate for the club where you have the, you know, the city council woman who's, uh, who's uh, um, representing this district and that blog or whatever it right. is um, attacking her in the, in the comments. 
that the hate right. comments that she received right. uh, on the on the comics reply page, and right. I immediately had to jump in Honestly, defense because look, we're not comparing this to the Holocaust. Nobody is. We're comparing it to what led to the Holocaust, mm. what was going on in Nazi Germany, and how they were able to legally uh, pull out what they did, how they got the people to comply with them. Right. Fear, uh, right. it's for your health. Segregating population. Jews, Jews are dirty. Jews, Jews are, are unhealthy. Dirty. Jews Disease. are gonna make you. When yeah. I'm saying she I'm vaccinated, said that, and that was so real when right. she said when, that. When, right. Because that is, you put that perfectly. Yeah. I, I should know, right? I'm named after uh, my great grandmother who didn't survive the Holocaust, uh, and uh, my grandfather did. So, the only one who survived. But I see it as, look, I've been segregated. This is one of the only places in the New York City that I can go in if I'm not vaccinated. All the other places have the sign in the door, like the the German restaurants had, or the Nazi uh, uh, mm. establishment had. Jews were not allowed. Jews were treated as second class citizens. When I'm telling someone that I'm not vaccinated. In the restaurant, when I'm trying to go in, do you know what they do? They take a step back. Really? Yes. Uh, uh, I'm going out without a mask. I'm holding the yeah, to yeah, a subway. Yeah. I'm holding the thing. Right. People jumping. How do, how do People you moving on the, the other side. They, they look at me and see that I'm like a disease-carrying, filthy person. Right. That's how it feels. How do you not see how the is correlation? It not, how right. is it not what was going on in Nazi Germany? Right. So once she gets involved, so now we <laughs> have 407 comments on this Beautiful. post. Right. Maybe 15 are negative. Exactly. The rest, uh, exactly. The rest are her girls. Yeah. That's all her. Right. Right. And I was like, you know what? I'm on the right side of history here. Yeah. Like, I'm not playing anymore. I'm, right. I'm, I'm like done. Well, it's similar. Okay, let me let me draw a correlation between the Joe Rogan thing with him saying the N word and 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 this situation. And I have, I've N-word. posted this. No. I've seen the Nazi word. Maybe That's online new the new N word, Nora Burke. Right. And I'm mm-hmm. like, okay. Or Nazi. Here's the thing. Mm-hmm. If the whole, and this is maybe a question for Julie too, is if the whole fulcrum of whether or not black people should say or white people should say the N word or not is based on whether or not black people want you to. Why should I listen to the offended black people over the people, the black people who don't give a fuck? Right. Why should I listen to one Jewish person versus another Jewish person, whether or not I can use hashtag Nuremberg? Be- be- Explain it the fuck. Do, do offended people know better than not offended people? I'm Nobody not, that's that news to me. It was Jewish. Yeah. No, but but people right. think that your feelings matter. Uh, feel uh, feelings um, matter over facts. Right. So you shouldn't talk about it. But not your also feelings. Not, we shouldn't teach you about the Holocaust because it's very offensive. You know, people right. will get offended well, to, right. to learn about the Holocaust. The and they stop teaching about the Holocaust. So how will people know that this is what led to the Holocaust? Right. What would you say about Tennessee? Offended. The book in Tennessee that the, the school board banned. Really? Yeah. It's, a, it's supposed to be this really this good new book about okay. the Holocaust. But there's a naked person in it and mm. cursing or something. Because, right. of course, high schoolers oh, yeah. don't look at naked right. pictures. But they can they give curse. them, like, uh, gay pornography when they're, like, uh, what is it, 80 years old. That's fine. <laughs> right. I read Night by, uh, I think it's Eli, Eli Wiesel. I don't know. That was that was required reading for me when I was in, in, in school. Um, but, the okay, so throughout this, you jump in, you do this, blah, blah, blah. Did... Was there any, because already I saw that, that article that you said you also saw mm-hmm. just a few days ago of Julie go, or somebody going, yeah, good job for Julie Menon. She's fighting, you know, uh, just a flippant anti-Semitism from, from an Instagram post. Um, but has she, so she hasn't reached out to you. Did she, didn't, I, I thought I remember her backtracking or something. Did she, didn't she, did she, she didn't pull the letter, the, the Upper East Side didn't, uh, didn't retract anything at all, right? No. Okay, so they still believe what they believe. I'm sure they don't believe that at all. <laughs> well, they did. They did turn off the comment option on there their post because you, go. you guys destroyed that. him. That's after after my post. That's that's one thing I'm actually proud of. You should a wave, turn off the comment A wave section. of Jews after, after came I in to be like, "What the dude, fuck are you talking about?" Was bitch? not prepared. No, for there that. are a lot of Jews because they don't baby each other. Oh, we're right. We're right. We're superior. Exactly. We're this. We're that. And once they get my a little bubble. bit of it, the, they can't right. defend themselves. Right. right. Because they have nothing to stand on. It's like, okay, so if I sit here and have a beer, I'm going to get COVID. But if I add chips, I can't. Right. right. You know, it's all the same. I need to, I need, I'm walking without a mask. I need to put a mask on to go into the restaurant to be seated. Then I'm taking the mask off. And then I have to put it, it back it, on when I'm leaving the restaurant. You can get COVID up here, but you can't get it. What? Well, right. I mean, and there was a, well, no, because you should put it on the longer as, for the longest possible, for the longest time possible. You know, if right. you eat, you, if you you can't have the mask me, on when you I eat, think right? there might be something 
but, to the mass. But this is all. Okay. Might hate me for that, but <laughs> I got to tell you, every everybody I know gets COVID at home. Yep. So where's the one place you're not wearing a mask? And the people I think who, it was. I, th- I can't the people remember who take, the. Who take the vaccine and the people who are doing it. everything. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Right. I think the masks help more than the vaccine for sure. Interesting. Right. Really. Um, yeah, the, 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 from what I saw, I saw, I can't remember, it was somewhere, either University of Philadelphia or Pittsburgh, uh, or might have been John Hopkins, who said that 80, around 80% of COVID transmissions happen in the home. Yeah, which is wow. where no one's wearing a mask. Right. So, but you don't hear Fauci saying that. Right. You just hear him selling masks because China's he's, making all the He's saying mo- staying at home. Staying at home. Yeah, but it's like, stay use some logic with the mask, because for me, it's logical. I got it. When one person came to my house and I got it, we all got it. You know who didn't get it? Mm. My 85-year-old mother. You know why? That's Because mm. she was sick in November 2019. Yep. We didn't know what it was. Mm-hmm. Right. I took it Immunity. to the doctor. Right. She had antibodies. Right. Love it. She had just visited with someone Chinese. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I have a theory, too, because you said Queens. Mm. I, I have a theory that a lot of the motherfuckers who push, and I don't know... You know, no offense. Well, no offense, Julie Menon. I don't know Julie Menon's history, but I feel like the main bulk of the people pushing this shit are not straight up New York natives. Nobody like straight from up New Brooklyn, York is from New York. Queen, yeah. yeah, but straight up Queens motherfuckers would not be we're down with York. this shit. Yeah. Right, that's what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah, we're born in real New York. Transplants born, who came here in the '80s and '90s because they because they watched Friends and they watched Sex and the City. But that's always been like that. You know, people right. come here to be on Broadway. People and come and here people to stand are up. People, right. you know. Yeah. New York is not is they're, full of people that are wimpier. not from New York. Absolutely, but yeah. they're wimpier than real ass motherfucking New Yorkers. Uh, that's the well, they're sure. certainly not independent thinkers. Independent thinkers. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, like you know, they're followers. Right. Yeah, we don't. You know, really give and a the shit. more expensive it's gotten in the core in Manhattan specifically, it's pushed a lot of people who didn't necessarily who were real ass New Yorkers. They're like, okay, well, I'll I'll go to Bronx, I'll go to Queens, I'll go to wherever. You know what I mean? Right. So as far as independent thinkers, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think there's a way to save. Well, the, the ones people. that are are afraid to say it. Yeah. Right. Have you had businesses reach out to you? I'm sure you have. What do you mean? Who are, are like, are like thank you, you do it? thank you for, or right. how do you do it, or thank you for mm-hmm. not. Interesting. Oh damn. No business owners have been like, okay, we're with you, or like. Um, Rocco's. Rocco's. Okay. Rocco's. All right. There was some connection there. Yeah. But Rocco's, yeah, Rocco's uh, was. They were. I think G- also July from the very beginning, they but were like, like, you know. I think the difference, uh, maybe maybe now we will uh, will change, but Rocco's is very uh, frontal about it, right? They're right. like publicly I'm just, fighting I'm just not the mandates. A, I'm, I'm not a screamer about anything, right? You know, so it's just not my nature no, to do that. I right. feel like the cool people pick up on it and I'm good, right? Right, you know, it's just not, I'm not like that. Right. Yeah. But either way, I wanted to have you on so that we could have this story told f- to, you know, and, and also Maggie as well. Mostly because that thing you said earlier. When you speak up, you make other people, other weirdos, other weird, mm-hmm. other people who think differently. They get other it. Whatever, they're like, oh, I'm not alone. The right. worst thing in the motherfucking world is to feel like you're the only one. Right. And so... Especially with having, you know, my show conservatish and having it be like, you know, nuance, 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 gray area, motherfuckers. Um, having people right. ex- like expose or expose aspects of themselves or their their history, their experience, helps other people who are like, okay, I'm not alone. There is a way to stand up. Whatever. Similar to There's not one way of one thing. Right, and especially like similar to uh, the thing we were talking about earlier about about um, the fines and how they usually go nowhere. Mm-hmm. What's his face in, in Ottawa, Trudeau, has yeah. been like, okay, I'm going to implement blah, blah, blah. Okay, okay, but <laughs> they want you to be afraid. They want, bullies want you to go, ah, oh my God, yeah. <laughs> they put out the they put out the donation list of, of give, send, go. Oh my God, they did, oh. So that right. you stay silent and keep your fucking mouth shut. Well, guess what, bitch? I'm not keeping my mouth shut. Right. I'm not because there are people who are alone right now who are listening to this who are like, okay, I'm not alone. I'm not alone. And I will, I don't give a fuck what I need to do. And right. it's similar to you, even mm-hmm. though you're not shouting as much as my egotistical asses. But like, you know, mm-hmm. it's that same thing of you're doing a service, not just for, you know, holding your own, you know, your own, you know, balls or ovaries or whatever and being like, I'm going to do what I want, but also speaking and just sharing like, yeah, yeah, here's but like, how you do what you I'm want. I'm like, I'm just a subtle person. Like, that's like the right. flag to me was like, all right, if you're cool enough to get it, you'll come in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Right. I don't know. The whole thing is just like stupid. We're along. 
how how soon after the mandate started did did you start getting visits from the health officials or police? Oh, immediately. Immediately. Because I wouldn't hang that thing in my window. Mm. Where's your Where's your post? Oh, the first thing I did it was like show us your card. So I, I wiped out and I wrote show us your tits. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you saying? You mean tits? She said tits. Everybody. Only it's because all right. it was like that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's like yeah. go fuck yourself. Right. So we hung that in the window for a little while. Okay. And then you got another visit, and oh, we got him. I mean, we it stopped for a while. I really believe uh, Menon is probably behind our visit tonight because no one's getting visited anymore. Right. Mm. Yeah. Especially once once it started. They're gonna realizing... come after me for sure. Right. And but you once... know what? Wherever that lands, it lands. What are you gonna do? Yeah. You know, I have other jobs. Right. And you can sleep at night. Yeah, I'm not, you know, I got kids. I got, like, there's a future here for people. But if, like I was explaining to her earlier, I mean, my dad always rode, rode Harleys. Mm. He's, you know. And I remember the day he came home and said the motorcycle helmet laws were passed. And he's like, that's it. You can kiss your freedoms goodbye. Now, my dad always wore a motorcycle helmet. Right. But once he was told to wear a motorcycle helmet. He was like, that's it. We're on our way to communism. Mm. Wow. Yeah, with good intentions. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I just got a, done reading a book called Stasi Land. Uh, it's fucking phenomenal. Uh, uh, but it's about real life stories from the GDR, from the uh, East Germany. And how, and how with good intentions, yeah. all along the line, a lot of people have died from good intentions. <laughs> a <laughs> lot of people have died yeah. from good intentions. Oh, it's the same thing as globalism. Wait, when, wait, wait, save it for well, camera. Okay, oh, I have to say globalism in the camera. Uh, See, this is exactly what we're doing. No, no, just, we're uh, just uh, me, maybe an old lady. We are wrapping up, look, yeah. or should I just go through this from now no, and we'll go continue? No, we'll two, three, go two, three more minutes. I just want to finish. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck your blotter. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, Hold I'm just it. getting a little uncomfortable, <laughs> and I'm like, I need to pee. Pobrecita que linda. Um... That's so yeah, I think it's the same. I think it's the same thing as globalism, uh, where okay, we make one central power that can never be corrupted. Uh, but it's like right. it's easier when you don't have autonomy, when you don't have small individuals. It's easier to, or it's it's harder to wrangle them and make them do what you want them to do. Good intentions or most likely not good intentions. Same thing with, okay, we don't even have to give you a paper. We'll give you a, a QR code and now you just scan the QR code and right. isn't it convenient? And they put in some best way where, to get rid where of they put in chips. Uh, they put in some microchips. Some, yeah, it's happened a few times. Yeah, yeah. You can have all your, info, your COVID uh, vaccine information in the microchip. And they tested it out on your dogs. Simple. Oh, right. You know, you had to see that coming. Right. Oh, but if you now the next thing is going to be you're going to see them intentionally kidnapping kids in regular areas mm. so that oh, chip your kid will be able to find it. Right. Jesus. That'll yeah. be the next. This is the next because setup. It's the safety. Why do you think they're all getting away with all this? This you know, bit. think about these people from the border. Right. Sex right. trafficking and shit. They don't. Right. They're going to be stealing your kid. kids. That they're going to do this. Right. Um, the government's going to be behind this. Right. They're going to be taking your kids just so that. Parents, it scares parents. Now, for me, I've always been nervous about that shit. Right. My yeah. kids were born. I'm like, let's go home. Right. I wasn't staying in the hospital. I wasn't doing anything. Now, now they put the baby in the room with you. Yeah. How are you going to sleep? I don't want this kid right next to me. I can't sleep. But someone's right. going to come in and take this kid. Right. right. You know. But if we chip him, mm-hmm. we'll find him. Oh, right. Because I'm sure he couldn't cut his arm off where you put the chip. Right. I'm sure that right. wouldn't happen. But if the government the knows up. what's best for us, that's the worst thing in the fucking world. Because they never do. Even the stuff that they've tried to... I was just pointing it out a few episodes ago. The DMV was started in 1917. They've had 105 years to get that right, and they still... Wow. It's the fucking it's worst the place in the world. And now you want to trust them with your body? Like Look your chemical composition? Your Look at the ID you have to give them. Right. Just to get a... I, and if my name on one thing doesn't matter, if I don't, if my missing in, uh, my middle initials missing on one thing, right. I yeah. can't renew my license. You gave me the license, moron. Right, yeah. right. You can't renew something you gave me in the first place. Like, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah. So we'll we'll uh, yeah we'll wrap up. Um, <laughs> first things first. This is the no. la- the comic strip live. Is it, what's the best place to promote? What do you do? You want to promote anything? Talk about anything? Uh, just where to find you and stuff. We're in eighty seconds. Second. Come on down. 82nd and 2nd. Yes, I love this place. And honestly, just when I was sitting here with you last month, I was like, I'm inside. Like, I know that sounds like a small no, thing, but you No, you look on know. the wall, you see who started here. Everybody started here. Right. 
I but mean, we're, we're an indoor establishment. Well, yeah, in and Jerry uh, and uh, Seinfeld, vaccinated. like I saw him in the thing, like yeah. all, all across. But being inside was so, I didn't feel like a piece of shit. You I'm shouldn't. Like, I'm indoors, Nobody should. No mask. I'm yeah. all right. No one's dying. Yeah. Didn't have to show any papers. Right. Even my, 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 I don't even, I don't even know if any of my staff is vaccinated. Yeah. I never asked. It's none of my business. It's none of your fucking business. This is HIPAA. I'm, you know, I don't want to know. Right. Whatever. It's like, this, it's like, you know what? Nursing in the 80s. Right. You couldn't ask, uh, if a if someone came in with a bullet wounds and was about to go into surgery, you were not allowed to ask him if he was HIV positive. Right. Now you're putting an entire surgical staff at risk, but you weren't allowed to ask. Right. Now, now with COVID, what? Right. right. Really? Not just with COVID. Now you can. What a just violation a of your personal rights. Right. Right. A host. Right. Plus, everybody giving you a PCR test. They, uh, they don't have any medical degree. Yeah. Right. You're just handing it all over to whoever's. Yeah, you do them at home now. This is insane. I'm at, I'm at Blue Bottle Coffee at the other day, and they were like, uh, "Sir, do you have a, a mat?" I'm like, "No." And they were, and they just grabbed this box from behind. The, I don't know where the fuck that's been. I don't know where your hands been. Mm. You want me to touch the? That's fuck a good you. point. No Disgusting way. ass. Gross. And they have them in the buses as well. They have a little jar, plastic right. jar, and they oh, put really a mask in the bus. In there. Yeah. yeah. Cough on it. Gross. Right. All right. <laughs> so you can where find can me on. Find uh, yeah. So once again, I'm on Instagram mostly. So Maga as Maga with a Y. Maggie underscore 45 uh, uh, it's, you have to put in the whole handle because mm-hmm. Instagram is heavily censoring me they don't like how I speak yeah. uh, they don't like that I'm putting out the truth and the right. fact that there's someone like me that is awake is like disturbing to them right. so that's a little closer I to anti-Semitism than uh, Julie uh, Menon would even fucking no pay attention kidding. to. Absolutely. Oh, look, Julie Menon. There's a Jew who's being who's being uh, 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 <laughs> who's being censored and, and segregated, segregated, and you don't give a fuck, stupid ass motherfucker. Right. No, it's, it's like feminism. Why aren't they? Why aren't they all over these men? That are competing against girls, right? And stealing yeah. their scholarships right. all right. over the all over the world. It's because right. it's easy for them, right? Yeah, Maybe no one has to pay the like, price. He was like 200th or something place on men's league, and now right. he's number one in the females league, right. the women's league. Like and he's not many, a woman. How many girls' scholarships are being robbed right. because of and this? And the girls are afraid to speak up. A lot That's, of them, a lot of them, hope, luckily are. They're, start, they're, they're starting, starting, starting a little bit. Still anonymous. They send a letter. There were sixteen girls from the UPenn uh, that send a letter. Uh, well, basically, what what's going to happen now? The NCAA yeah, put up some restrictions. They say we're going to do some medical tests, uh, test the testosterone levels, and then the uh, the university is trying to fight the NCAA on behalf of the transgender swimmer. Yeah, because they're because who makes money they, with transgender? Big pharma. You have to be on that shit all the rest of your fucking life. Interesting. So the schools aren't going to go up against Big Pharma. They and get a lot. They make money. They they run them. You know, big, this is all the Rockefellers and all those nut jobs yeah, that yeah. started this stuff. Right. right. Yeah. All right. Rich white cocksuckers. <laughs> <laughs> like it. I said, I fucking said it. Um, anything else you want to plug? Thank you very much. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you subscribe wherever you're listening. Make sure you rate, review, and share this. If you don't share this, you're an anti-Semite. Um, <laughs> and I love you very much. And uh, we'll see you later. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Ciao. <laughs> Thank you so fucking much for doing this. That was I really fun. Oh, my God. Thank you.